hello everyone welcome to two and three d so i got this comment from um a subscriber who said i have a tricky question if i want to keep my mouth talking while the rest of the body changes in cycle trigger how do i do that okay so this is our character this is carl and um carl comes with two profiles the frontal profile which is this and the cycles layer profile which is this and it's one two three just three sequence so okay and if you notice something is um all these other profiles do not have heads so no head no head no head no head boom and we have this um the frontal with head so what you need to do is place all your cycles that's all your sequences, all the frame, the frames that uh, the cycles layer behavior is supposed to go through. Place them here without heads. Nice. But just make sure your frontal comes with uh, the head and the body, and this head should be separate. And you see, there is another head over here, and that is just to create other, like other proof head profiles, like left looking, right looking, and stuff like that. So under your head, you should have your, in my own case, I have FFT, which comes with the mouth shape, that's with all the visms, the, all the visms, the R, the L, F, E, and everything, and comes with the brow, the iris, the um, eyes, and all the blink and whatever, just all the facial features should be there. So now, after creating something like this, let's jump into Character Animator. Okay, so in Character Animator, we have our head, our, that's we have our character with every of this profile and the cycles. Oh, I did not save that. Let me save that and quickly come back. So I've actually gone through and rigged the like worked on the eyes made them cycles. Um, I said cycles. I made them um, um triggers. So you could actually activate blink or close or whatever just for the eyes, just the eyes alone. So um, you could also do the same. Let me delete this because this was something I was working on initially. So under the FFT, you could also like select these and make uh, create a mask. And that's if you're depending on your character, just create your head how you normally create your head. So in this case, our mouth comes with all the visions, so I do not have to work on that. Um, our eyes, that's that's fine. I think so. Our brow, no movement there, so it's fine that way. So now, what do we need to do? So we have our cycles layer behavior that if you just click, you see that. So apply the cycles uh, trigger to it. Let me just zoom this out a bit. So ap apply the cycles layer behavior to it. So just apply that quickly. Okay, in my own case, I actually made it um, three frames and continuously, so I want it to keep looping. That's fine. So now this is what I want you to do. You click the head, Control D. You need to duplicate it. I you you could actually do without duplicating it, but I prefer duplicating. It's better to duplicate it so that you do not mess with the original. So you could always come back and fix that. That after duplicating it, you right click and um, make head shareable. So you click that, and then you have your head here. Now let me delete the old one, and we have this. So all you need to do is open your cycles layers, and I know you could have a lot here, which is <laughs> which will now be stressful for you. But just let's make everything um, invisible. So let's just make this profile invisible. So his hands on his chest. Now drag your head into one here, and when you do that, you have the head, and now you have to place it manually. It's unfortunate that you have to do it this way, but this seems like this seems to be the only way to actually make this work. So manually fix that, just place that where you think it's correct. And you do that for the next sequence. Drag your head into two. And uh, let's just select the head, move it to, I think it should be at this point. And let's do the same for the sequence, the third sequence. Um, drag the head and place. And I made the sequence purposely just so that I can show you how to rotate. I know you most likely know how to do that already, but just uh, just bear with me. So rotate, boom, and then we have this. 
and now we have the head with all those features the mouth feature the eye feature and whatever feature that you you've added to your own puppet so now um just so that we'll be able to activate this i'm just going to click this and create both that's selecting both so that there will be there will be swap set so create swap set select both and latch and just oh uh, the cycle should not be the default the front should be the default so let's make the cycles uh let's make it uh q let's just give it q so that we can just press a button and have it loop through so now let's go to record and test what we have okay so our audio is set up properly so he, it means he can be talking so his lip sync is working fine in the front half. now let's press our dub, our q and um see how the cycle is doing so you see while i'm talking you see that the mouth is also moving and he's actually looping through and doing whatever he's doing right now right here so uh this is actually very very and if i press uh let's say i press one because i think his eyes that is for uh controls his eyes or something so you see even through all the loop you can see that his eyes are closed like this so you could also control the entire loop by just using your keys or whatever trigger you want to use so this is just perfect this is the best way to actually do this and i hope i've answered your question please if you have more questions just leave it in the comment section and i'll make sure i get to it and even in some cases i'll actually make videos like this so thank you for watching and bye for now